You guys, my first dress fitting was yesterday. My dress was stuck in London and I'm packing <laughs> my dress. Should we go dress shopping or is it gonna be here? She was like, Sh you shut your mouth, it's gonna be here. Hello, I'm Jenny Packham and I'm in my studio in North London where we've been hard at work making Hilary Duff's wedding dress. It was the first time we worked with Hilary. So the dress is made in a stretch crepe. It's an ivory shade. Obviously ivory is much softer. It's got quite a fishtail skirt. It's got these very kind of empowered shoulders. We call them a, a saddle shoulder pad because they kind of dip down and sort of come up at the edge. And then it's got these beautiful cape-like sleeves with a split up the front here, which kind of almost form an amazing train at the back of the dress. The back of the dress is open from the neck down to the waist. And then we've got 100 buttons coming from the waist all the way down to the bottom of the hem. I want Hilary to feel how I think she wanted to feel in this dress from the direction that we had, which is very modern. And it's quite a bold look. And more than anything, I want her to feel immensely confident in it. And it is a very confident look. When Matt proposed to me, we were living in New York and I was working on a TV show. I'd had a very long day, so he's like, let's go on a walk. Like, you had a long day, let's just get out and like chat and catch up. And there's this new park I want to take you to. So we're walking through this park in Dumbo and it's on the water and it's gorgeous. And all of a sudden he's like, I've been working on something for you. You're gonna love it. This is the book that Matthew proposed with. It's all about our love story and it's illustrated with these beautiful sketches and pictures of us and our whole entire story mapped out for us to refer back to, I think, as we get older, but also for our kids to know. And I get to the very last page and there's a little piece that I have to lift up. It was an orange. We call each other half orange like, oh, you're my half orange. And that's just an inside thing that no one would understand, but it was a, a little orange sketched on the page and I lifted up and my ring was inside. I'm gonna get really choked up. It was so sweet. It was really special and really simple, which is very much how we are and how we operate. Oh my God, I feel extra emotional right now. This is my hair for the wedding that Nikki has. <laughs> executed perfectly. I have newly short hair and I really wanted it off my face and back behind my ears, um, but with a little bit of a wave. So it has a little bit of texture, but nothing too curly and nothing too straight. Um, I'm gonna wear a headpiece that's very simple and beautiful. It has some little diamonds and pearls on it. Jennifer Bear makes it. She makes really fun um, headbands and hair accessories. We really went for that chop. I love it. This is Nikki Lee and she is my hairstylist for many, many years. I have a high neck to my dress and I didn't want like hair bunched up. I love this idea that it's back, it's off my face, there's a little bit of texture and we actually just cut, what, another inch off the back of it this morning to make sure it clears the neckline of my gown. Okay, I'm going to try my dress on and I'll see you guys in a minute. I sat down with my stylist, Jessica Pastor, and we went through many, many, many designers, and we together settled on Jenny. I love it. I feel, well, one, I feel really comfortable, and I feel like it's everything that I dreamed of. The shoulders are so exciting to me. It's really what I wanted. It has structure, uh, but it's clean and simple. I knew that I wanted something modern and something, I don't want to say simple, it's not simple, but it's very clean. This is Jessica Pastor, my brilliant stylist. She knew I didn't want a very big dress, but I wanted a statement dress, which I, I think is this. Jess was, you know, really the one who was like, I know, it's gotta be Jenny Packham. What I love about Jenny is I've worked with her many times and I know that the finished dress is always gonna be magical and it's gonna be beautiful and perfect. And she cares just as much as I do about all those little details. We did love the shoulders, but we didn't want to go too exaggerated because Hillary's very petite. And those little finishing touches, the, the buttons, we wanted to make sure that we had buttons. But yes, it was all in the details of this beautiful dress. The end result of what we came up with with Jenny and my gown is exactly how I wanted him to see me. I think how he would envision what I would look like as a bride. You know, not some like big poofy beaded thing. Like it would be very like 
gorgeous but toned down. There's a sweet little embroidery with our initials. There's an M and an H and then the date of our wedding. And over here, there's initials for our kids. There's Lucas and Banks. And they're part of our ceremony and obviously the biggest uh, part of our life. Maybe someday Banks will want to wear my dress. And she can add to it. Jenny was kind enough to make Banksy's little dress too and it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's pretty similar to my color. She has a little umpire waist with a pink velvet ribbon and this giant bow in the back actually crushes my soul. It's so sweet. She had a little fitting yesterday. She's only 14 months old, but she was like fluffing the, the, the sleeves and she was like, she just kept bouncing up and down. It was so cute. What's wonderful about doing fittings is you find little things that you can make perfect and fix to make perfect. We're gonna be doing um, alterations from now until the day before. So probably like two more times. Three more. Three more times. Maybe four. I'm obsessed with my arms. They go all the way down to the ground and they kind of follow the line of my train. And then I fly out of my own reception to my hotel room to go to sleep. <laughs> I think Matt and I are most looking forward to saying our vows to one another. Writing my vows was the hardest thing I've ever done, honestly. It's hard to have you know, five minutes to tell someone all that they mean to you and all the things that you love about them and why and, you know, what, what it means moving forward, you know, to make this kind of commitment. It was, it was really hard. You know, marriage is, is such a huge commitment and marriage is not always easy and I think sometimes getting to remember this specific day where we said these specific things throughout the course of our lifetime. Things like the dress and handwritten vows and all of those, those are tokens of your love and your dedication and your promise. Can everyone just show up now? Let's do this. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go.